Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part two. In that we'll see the question number nine. The Roman civilization began in 509 BC and ended in 476 AD. How long did the Roman civilization last? So the hint is given there was no zero year. So since there is no zero year, so we'll see from 509 BC to 1 BC. So that is going to be 508 years and from 180 to 476 AD that is going to be 476 years. So when you add this 508 plus 476 this is going to be 984 years. So we can write the Roman civilization last year that is 984 years. The temperature was 2 degrees centigrade in the afternoon. On a particular day, and what was the temperature during the night if it dropped by 5 degrees centigrade? So here it is dropped by 5 degrees centigrade. So 2 degrees centigrade minus 5 degrees centigrade because drop means we have to subtract. So this will be minus 5 plus 2 that is going to be minus 3 degree centigrade. So we can write the temperature during the night was minus 3 degree centigrade. The summary in this position. 1050 meter below the sea level. If it descends 300 meter, what will be its new position? So here this 1050 plus 300, that is going to be 1350 meter. So we can write that the new position of the submarine is 1350 meter below sea level. Mercury is a metal which is liquid at room temperature. Its melting point is minus 39 degree centigrade. The freezing point of alcohol is minus 114 degree centigrade. How much warmer is the melting point of mercury than the freezing point of alcohol? So here, this is melted, that is minus 39 degree centigrade, minus, because here the freezing point is given as minus 114. So we have to subtract this one, minus 114 degree centigrade. So here, this this stays the same minus and minus becomes plus because this is actually multiplication because we are putting here by the bracket so this will be plus 114 degree centigrade so this will be plus 114 minus 39 that comes to plus that is 75 so we can write 75 degree centigrade so the melting point of mercury is 75 degrees centigrade warmer than the freezing point of alcohol Isha traveled by bus towards east of Delhi by 58 km and then towards the west of Delhi by 82 km. How far was she from Delhi finally? So from this one 82 km west minus 58 km east that is going to be 82 minus 58 that will be 24 km west. So we can say Isha was 24 km west of Delhi finally. Here you will see the filling the blanks. The sum of two positive integers is always a. So now see, suppose I write here plus 5. And two positive integers, if I write here plus 2. So this plus plus become, remains plus. So that is going to be plus 7. So it is always a positive integer. The sum of two negative integers is always. So if I write a minus 5, minus, when you add, because that is the sum you are going to add, that is going to be minus 2 means it is going to be minus 5 minus plus becomes here minus minus 2. So whenever we have the sum, sum means the negative sign remains as it is that is going to be minus 7. So it is always a negative. But if it is multiplication minus 5 into minus 2, this is going to be positive. So if it is addition, it the negative sign remains the same but you have to add the integers. So now here 7. This plus minus becomes minus, so minus 12 plus 7, so that is going to be minus 5. Here, minus and minus, because this is multiplication, minus and minus becomes plus, so 15 plus 3, that is going to be 18. So dash is neither a positive integer nor a negative integer. So 0 doesn't have, we never write the plus 0 or this one. It is, it doesn't have any, neither it's a positive nor a negative integer. The sum of two integers is minus 450. If one integer is minus 327, find the other 
that is the other integer so the letter we can say let the other integer be x so now here sum of the integers is minus 450 so minus one integer is minus 327 so minus 327 plus x because sum means we are going to add it e is means is equal to minus 450 so this let us keep this side on the left hand side so on the this is already on the right hand side we will take this on the right hand side so minus becomes plus 327 so x will be this will be minus 450 plus 327 so we have to subtract whenever we have one, one minus and one plus you have to subtract this one so that is going to be 123 and the bigger number side that is negative one so x is minus 123 so we can say the other integer is minus 123 so by this one we are completed today's work to like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you